All right, Zany fam, today we wanna to show you how to make these really awesome paper bombs. And I just wanna let you know that we tried to make them using various types of paper. We used scrap that we had painted on, and as you can see, it worked, but it literally exploded the first time we used it, the paper tour. Using construction paper works, but it's really hard to kind of get it into place. So if you're a newbie at this, you don't wanna use construction paper. The best paper to use is this regular printer paper or copy paper, this works the best. So if you have a bunch of these lying around, like we used a lot of our scrap that we had uh, lying around, but I'm gonna use a clean one to show you guys how to do it step by step. So you can have your own cool paper bomb that does this. Let's see, Noah. That's awesome. You wanna do it? Do it. Cool, all right, so let's show them how to do it. Oh, it snapped. Oh, this one ripped. Sometimes they explode so strong that they literally rip. So you gotta learn how to do this, it's really easy. I learned it after doing it one time and watching a tutorial. So the first thing you do is you're gonna fold it in half lengthwise. So hold on, let me just give somebody else the phone so that I can show you guys. Yep. Okay, here we go. So fold it in half lengthwise, make sure it's all even, so corner to corner, and really, really press this down. Then you're gonna open it up. Fold it again to the middle line that you just created. Okay, make sure this is crispy. Fold it again, so from the bottom up to the middle line again. And you're gonna do this one more time. So basically you're just gonna bring it up this time because it's already folded on that middle line. Now make sure that this is pressed down really, really hard. Okay, that's really important that it's flat. So then you're gonna take it and fold it in half again, like so. Pressing the bottom down really hard again and making sure that this corner is super crispy. Okay, so now we look at it, you see how it's all even, it's kind of like a folded envelope. Okay, so now hold it like this from the bottom. This is a little bit tricky the first time you do it, but you're gonna wanna open it and you're gonna wanna push the back end that is not folded through to the other side and kind of make like an R shape or like a bird beak. And this is just a really gentle thing. So it's not pressed down. See how that moves? So the reason you're doing that is because you wanna get this feature at the back. See, it kind of looks like a heart. And you're gonna hold it on this side. That's really important. That's how you get your snap, okay? If you use this a couple times and it stops snapping, all you need to do is just press the top down. So just make sure that this top corner and this part is really, really sharp. So now Noah is going to take this one and he is going to check if it works. If not, we'll make some modifications. Doesn't look like it work. work. Okay, let's check it out. Mo Mickey's gonna try his while I fix Noah's. Okay, sometimes it's a low snap, sometimes it's a hard snap. So I'm just taking the one that I made for Noah and I am just sharpening up the edges. So if it doesn't work, sharpen up the edges. It will work, trust me. Okay, and then pull it through a little more. Maybe I didn't pull it through. That's what you wanna do. You wanna make a bigger R. So make sure that you see that fold right there make sure that it's all the way up through just make sure like I was saying make sure that you have that bigger kind of R beak sticking out and then hold it from this side here you go Noah so Noah and Mickey are going to demonstrate that's what I'm talking about right there even snap. all right so the fresher your paper oh wow it tore and happened with such a big snap let's see if we can make it snap oh even though it's oh, tore right here. Mickey's is starting to explode too. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Let's see, Noah. Yep. Okay, he got it in place. Oh, little snap. This is really fun. You can do it over and over again. Um, we've done it a billion, jillion times, which is why it's good to use scrap paper. But here we go. Let's see, Noah. Try it again. I'm telling you, the trick is to make sure, whoa, <laughs> to make sure that this part is out that way so that's really important okay now this is definitely tour we need a new paper let's definitely. do it again you ready to do it again yeah all right whoa let's get another piece of paper and do it again okay so we're just going to show you the construction page paper version so you kind of get an idea so it works it's just that the first couple times you do it you'll have a hard time because it's so thick that it just I don't know it was just hard to keep this like really crispy but 
It's the same thing. So same process. So go ahead, Noah. Okay, let's try, try it again. It again. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wow. All right, that's epic. So if you can use construction paper, it won't rip as easily. But, um, you know, just make sure you keep those edges crispy. Here goes Mickey. He's going to try again. His paper is getting kind of flat. Hold on. Let me help you. Let me check this out. See, this isn't working because you see how flat that is? Yeah. Whoa! The, the back is... It's completely split. Oh, it did split. It's flatter than Bro, flat. I, so this is back. too flat in the back. You want the flatness in the front, not in the back. All right, so if you enjoy this video, if this helped you out, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment and let us know if you tried it. And make sure to hit the bell down below and like and subscribe. Bye!